Hello my friends, it is November 1st or later and you know what that means. That means it is time for a new stamp set. Yay! Club members, your stamp sets are already in the mail to you. We get up extra, extra early on the 1st. Luckily, you don't have to see the bags under my eyes when I do. And we get those all shipped out to you ASAP so they are in the mail to you. Are you ready? Get set. I'm really excited about this set because it's a lot of fun. And when I, it's funny because when I designed it, I send it all to my design team and I say, okay, create. And the samples they were sending me to show me, I almost fell over. I was very excited. So I got tears in my eyes on a couple of them. So to my design team, thank you so much. So are you ready? Get set. Let's go. It is called Flowers to Share. And this is what it looks like. It's 19 stamps. Now, in all honesty, I think I would call these roses. You might call them something else, but that's why I call them flowers because then we won't have to worry about what kind of flowers they really are. But yes, I did draw these. I was doodling one day and I was playing and I went, ooh, I like that. And then I made another one and I went, ooh, I like that one too. So then I made matching bases. So here are the bases and of course you know me, the two-step stamping, so boom, boom. And then I added a decorative one and I have a couple examples to share with you and I'm very excited about this one. So here we go. It says, thinking of you, flowers for you, I love you, so cute, you rock, for you, smile. And then this border here says, you make me happy, you make me happy, you make me happy. Here's a wow. And look at this border here. Woo! The nice thing about this flower border is it automatically connects to another one. So if you're a scrapbooker and you do 12 by 12 pages or longer pages, this stamp right here will automatically, right here, will automatically connect to right there when you're stamping a border. So really easy and fun to use. Now, another fun thing is you can stamp some of these, like the I love you, on the vase itself. So that would look really cute. We also have lots of other sentiments that will work on these vases. Okay, so think about those. Now, one other thing I wanted to share with you about this top border, because this is really fun. And Amy, you're the one that gave me this idea. But look at this. I took it and I just, um, because it's a clear stamp, you can easily manipulate it on your block. And I turned it into a circle. So if I wanted to do a circle, I could. If I had a longer block, let me show you really quick because this is fun too. It doesn't have to be straight. Okay, so I can kind of swirl this a little bit. I can play with it like, oh, that actually looks really cute, just the way it went down like that. Or I can make it straight. Now, you might say, Stephanie, what's the easiest way to make it straight? The easiest way to do that, this is a quick tip, okay, is simply to lay it down, face down, and then take your block and put it right on top, and there you go, nice and straight, okay? So, quick tip. Are you ready for some samples? I'm ready. Beverly sent in some great samples this month, so I want to make sure I share them with you. This one is really pretty. It just says, it's a cute title, smile, 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 all the way down. And then she stamped the vase, just the outline vase, onto pattern paper and cut it out. And then she stamped this part of the flower on another pattern paper. And then she stamped the stem onto the cardstock and colored it. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the cute little gems and the little staples. So many little cute, cuteness on this one. The next one that she's sharing with us, I really like because she really thought outside of the vase or outside of the box. And she stamped the sentiments for circles that says thanks, 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 thanks onto cardstock, then stamped the vase outline onto card on top of it and cut it out. And so now it's a thank you vase and it says for you in one simple, beautiful flower. Isn't that adorable? And this sample, same idea. This time she used the backgrounds to build stamp set over here on this one. Then she used um, the vase from this actual set, the swirly one right here. And then she just added some big old dots. Isn't that cute? I love black and white with some primary colors. They really stand out. Then she colored the flowers, just different colors, flowers for you. So simple and easy. You could do this one. Even I could do this one. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see what you're gonna create with this stamp set, Flowers to Share. I cannot wait to see what you create by uploading it to our gallery. So make sure once you do get your stamps in the mail, you upload to our gallery for a chance to win a free stamp set next month. And make sure you also check out our gallery for tons more samples from our design team. They're uploading as we speak. So you can make sure you see other great, wonderful ideas with this stamp set. Okay, I can't wait to see you again soon. I'll see you, bye.